Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic 2. Sorry if I sound a bit, um, I guess nasally. Um, I've just got a cold recently. Yeah, so that's fun. be so annoying. Um, some badniks are a pain in the backside to avoid and that was stupid of me um, because I had over 40 rings and these as you can see the little stars if you get too close they will come towards you and they will Sorry. Yeah. Um, they'll come towards you and they'll explode. And if you get hit by any of their spikes, then you obviously get hurt. There are other bad nicks in this. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That are just as bad, if not worse. You saw uh, another one. I can't remember his name now. Shell something or other. Shell Cracker, I think it is. Yeah. Um, his fist has a giant hitbox, whereas his actual body, where you can hit him, is tiny. And I'm about to become super. There's another one, a mantis as well, I think he's called Slicer. I looked them up yesterday, so I'm just vaguely remembering what they're called. And that was stupid of me. Um, yeah, which... Yeah, he's a mantis, and he fires off his little... Um, wow, I'm having a massive brain fart. It's like... Size... size there he is. He'll fire off you know, his arms. Bloody hell. Never doing this again when my brain's all bogged up. Um, yeah. And they can be really annoying. Um, and I killed him, so I'm happy. Yeah, they can be really annoying. Uh, and I wanted to go down there. Because they'll fire it off, and you won't even be expecting it, because like you won't be anywhere near it at the time. And they'll follow you, and you'll get really annoyed with them, or at least I do. Yeah, I haven't really talked much about the actual zone, have I? Um, I forgot that was there. Um, it's a nice little zone. Uh, at this point which is near the end, it vertically scrolls, so if I just stay there, I'm screwed, and this is actually the end. Um, yeah, it's Act 1, kind of short, kind of easy, um, you know, it does get harder. We go into Act 2, and we have lava, like straight away. And the most annoying shell cracker in the universe ever. Well, maybe not the most annoying, but definitely one of the most annoying. He's up there. And what's the easiest way around him? Um, well, I'm around him, and I'll get revenge because I'm really picky like that. And oh, there you go. That that's how slices can be annoying. <sighs> so hooray! I like the little teleporty thingies that just shoot you out and give you some good speed. They're nice. And those, the little crushers, 
you don't want to try and jump across there when they're up because um, you won't be able to get across in time. You want to go when they're down. Uh, it's the only way you can, really. And that was so lucky. <laughs> now it's time to just probably speed to my death. Supersonic can actually be a hindrance in this level sometimes. Like you can go too far and run off the edge into a pit. But on the plus side, all of the super annoying badniks are useless. And that went wonderfully. Yeah. They're not so annoying when they can't hurt you. And those little springy things can be annoying. And yeah, you've seen pretty much all the gimmicks of this level already, apart from one. Um, the nut going up the thing. I wouldn't really call it a bolt, you haven't got the proper size of a bolt. Uh, but yeah. That's a nice little gimmick. Um, can be really annoying if you're playing with Tails and you're not super because Tails will quite often set off the uh, stars which I have actually forgotten the name of. Um, yeah, he'll set them off. And uh, if you're not super, you have to be quite careful about it. Because they could knock you down. And it gets really tedious. And yeah, this is going great. Come on, hurry up. Ah! And okay, we made it. That's all right. <laughs> Act three. Act three. Well, if you read the description last time, I did actually mention that there was an act three. But you know, yes, this is the only, the only level in this game that has three acts. And if I recall correctly, yep, there's another one there. Ah, shell crackers. And I'm past him. Yeah, usually that one annoys me because I just jump over and forget he's there. And yeah, doesn't work out too well for me. But this time, I was fortunate enough to remember, so hooray me! Get the invincibility, just because, well, why not? And that went well. There we go. Invincibility is quite good for this part, because of all of these. And it's going to run out. Called it. And that didn't come back down. Hooray! Don't go there. Oh. Okay, I've got to go further back, which means I do have to go past these. Is that far enough for you, game? Thank you. Now I'm just going to have to take it a bit more cautiously if these things get set off like that. You just got to know. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. You've just got to um, think about how the points of the stars will fly and just be in a safe zone. Ah! I've got 
crushed there before, so hence my ah. Oh, the steam, I haven't mentioned it yet, uh, the steam from those actually hurts you, so, yeah, yeah, so yeah, so don't get hit by it, and, yep, knew it, ah! I'm telling you, his little sights, I want to call them sights, they're probably not at all, are they, but anyway, yeah, they like, follow you. This bit, some nice little platform jumping. Hey, jump up there. Yeah, so all of these spikes, they will go round uh, clockwise. And all you have to do is make sure you don't jump on the platform when the spike's going to come and hit you, because that's a very bad idea. Do I just... Because I skipped that other gimmick of this stage that I haven't shown off yet. <sighs> okay, I just panicked then when I saw that. Die. Explode when I'm not near you. Okay, this is going a bit better. So yeah, the, this nut section it is quite fun. You know, you got to be careful at some points because. Sometimes they'll put another nut right above where you are, or there'll be spikes, and you will get crushed. And I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> okay, I don't, but you know, yeah. If I was to continue running up, I would die. There's no ifs or buts or anything like that. I would be dead. And oh, brilliant. Here it is, the little riding platform section. Um, normally I go on a lot more than that, I must have took different routes than normal. But this means, this one here means it's now. Don't face that way, face that way. Boss time. Um, there is, oh god, there is an easy way to deal with this boss. Um, you've just got to not get hit like I do, but yeah, uh, he can get quite annoying. Normally, I think you need a bit more momentum, that's my problem. You can jump over him, jump over him again, he will float up, he will then, okay, no, don't, you dig, um, sorry. He would then normally go straight up and start them spinning around him as opposed to, you know, as in horizontally, as opposed to diagonally, like that. And that's when you hit. I so think I'm going to die. I should be able to just, like, hit him now, but I don't want to risk it because I have no rings, because I was stupid earlier. So yeah, this boss not too hard. Um, now there's only one left. There you go, that was nice and easy. Now he does have one little trick left in it's shooting laser beams. But you just hit him once and it's over. It's not too difficult. And that's it for Metropolis Zone. Wow. So this last act took as long as the other two acts put together pretty much. But you know. Um, so, I would, I've said so a lot, and I've had lots of brain farts, and I will apologise for that, I will try not to record any more when I'm ill, because it doesn't help anyone. Um, <laughs> thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.